bow down to the beauty of this Tapu Koko figure collection thingy. <laughs> Alright, so this is one of the four lovely products released on the same day. I believe it to be um, uh, May 19th. I know I'm a little bit late with it, oh well, but... I don't normally go for um, figure collections or anything like that, but as you know, I'm in America right now, and um, in the UK, they're kind of mean to us, and we don't get these figure collections, okay? So... <laughs> If one gets released while I'm here, you can bet I'm gonna go for it. It's really, really cool. But I just, I love the design of this box. I never really paid attention to it until now. Just look at all the, the little lightning bolts uh, in amongst those metal things. I don't know, they're really cool, okay? I'm not good at describing pictures, but... This, of course, comes with four packs, mostly of Sun and Moon. Well, Sun and Moon sets, and one of Steam Siege because, I don't know. <laughs> no one really likes Steam Siege, I'm sorry, but... I've got a lovely promo of Tapu Koko and a figure of Tapu Koko, but um, <laughs> this box is squeaking because it wants its contents to be let out, so let's um, comply with its requests and get it all out. Alright, so here is the Tapu Koko figure. It is just magnificent and I love it. I really do love um, how they tried to make uh, the, the lightning bolt. <laughs> I know it's like see-through, but it still looks just amazing. The only thing that I uh, I would like to point out though is um, the fact that the stand has to go in a rather painful area. Poor Tapu Koko. Oh. But <laughs> uh, probably would have been best if I hadn't mentioned that, but in the background you go for luck. We also do have this absolutely gorgeous promo. I believe this came out in Japan in- wait, what the heck? I didn't even realize this at first, but it's got like little markings on the the um, the edge, like that are slightly holographic. What the heck? That looks so weird. And you can like see them kind of sparkle a little bit as it goes up and down. But what I did want to draw um, attention to is the fact that this is an error in another way, if you can actually see it. It is what you would call a, um, a bleeding holofoil card. Um, you can see the holofoil very clearly right here on um, the Pokemon window, but if we uh, take it out and kind of um, show it around, the holofoil is actually on the entire card. This is a, a very common error with um, certain holos and sets, but I don't know whether or not this is intended. I think it's probably an error, which is just really, really cool, but I did not even see those markings at first, which is just bizarre. I've never seen that before. I don't know what to think, but you know, maybe, maybe it could be the sign of a very lucky box. You never know. But <laughs> All right, but Steam Siege is of course up first. I'm, uh, I'm sorry Steam Siege for saying before that no one likes you. Can you, um, can you give me a good pack? I forgive you, okay? Or maybe, maybe it should be the other way around, but you know, it doesn't matter. <laughs> There's Skibloom, Harlucha, Tangrowth, Litleo, Dino, Hoppip, there's Litwick, Meowth, <laughs> Reverse Rare Bastiodon, which I just pulled in another opening very recently. I'm not going to say what it was because uh, I don't know what I'm uploading first, but Bastiodon is the reverse. And then the rare is... Oh my god! What?! <gasps> God of War EX Full Art! Wow! Oh my goodness, that looks so beautiful! Ooh, This is crazy! Like, it seems with the, um, the products that have been released lately that everyone is just, like, getting insane look with Steam Siege of all sets. Very, very strange. I don't know what to make of that, but... This God of War EX Full Art does look very, very similar to, um, one of my favorite cards, um, made throughout the entirety of 6th gen, being the God of War EX Full Art from Primal Clash, it does look very, very similar. The Primal Clash one has more of a darker purple, uh, darker purple, <laughs> rather, in its background. I'm kind of speechless, but it looks so pretty. Wow. I really like that. That's, that's a good pull right off the bat. Oh my gosh. Should put the Bastiod on there. Tabu Koko's lucky. Wow. Sun and Moon base set is up next, though. Can we get something from this? I um, whew, I don't have too much from Sun and Moon outside of the um, the regular GXs and stuff, so it would be nice if I could pull something, but you never know. Anyway, Lilypup, Cosmog, Reverse Skarmory, which is one of the reverses that I have the most of, and this is an error, I'm pretty sure. Let me just see what the rare is. It is Beware. Uh, I'm sorry if my, uh, my thing's a little too high up. I couldn't show the box off properly that way, so I just did that, but... This Skarmory is actually slightly reversed across the entire card. You can't see it very well on camera, but it's a lot more apparent while I'm looking at it. 
very hard to see, but it is. It is slightly reversed on the actual artwork itself, which is quite interesting. But I've got two packs of Guardians Rising, so if I'm gonna hope to get anything at all, honestly it's gonna be in these two packs because Guardians Rising, it's the new set, it's fun, so yeah. <laughs> Let's see if we can get something from this pack. So yeah, I've got Ala Mamola, Rescue Stretcher, Halo, Phantom, Cast Form, Nose Pass, Delibird. Um, I don't think I did that. Did I turn that upside down? I don't think so. I, I don't think I that was me. What the heck? <laughs> what? <laughs> oh my god. I know that like peaked the mic so bad. I don't even care. Okay, I'm gonna have to rewatch uh, the recording and what the heck? That happens sometimes. I've never had that happen to me. Never. Never! What? <laughs> That's so weird! I've never had this happen to me! What the heck? Let's see if the rare is- no, the rare is um, the right side up, but the reverse was upside down! What the heck? Alright, so um, it seems that this box has had one, two, three, three and a half separate errors. What? Oh my gosh! What is this box? I have little or no words for that. And like the background's gone really quite blurry. Maybe it was that little thing there. I don't know. What? <laughs> Did you see the card like upside down when I was shuffling it? Or? No, I, didn't, I didn't pay attention. Okay, but there's Slowbro, Machoke, Lampant, Alolan Vulpix, Beldum, Pesalil, Fletchling, Alolan Geodude, there is Alolan Golem, which is also like another one of those things that is slightly reversed on the artwork too. You can't see it very well, but. The rare is Tapu Lele! <gasps> what? Oh my god! What? This is my third Tapu Lele! This is my third, third Tapu Lele! What the heck? I don't even have like half of the regular GXs from the set and this is my third one! What? Oh my god, what even? Tapu Koko, what are you doing? It's the wrong Tapu, but I'm not gonna complain because Tapu Lele is by far, by far the most valuable GX in the set. Honestly, this card is probably, um, I may, be, I may be mistaken, but I think it might be the third most valuable card in the set. Behind, well, fourth, technically. Behind only the full art, the rainbow, and double colorless. But still, what the heck? I, I don't know what to say, that's crazy. But Tapu Koko is luck. Tapu Koko is pure, pure luck, so yeah. A box that had a promo, which is bleeding holofoil across the whole card, okay. Then we got this incredible Gardevoir EX full art, which I just love. Beautiful card. Then the first Guardians Rising pack had an upside down Glalie reverse. Never seen that before. I know some people say that they uh, they have it, but I've never had that. That's so weird, but... Tabu Lele GX full- <laughs> not a full art. If it was a full art, I would scream. But Tabu Lele GX to finish off. I have little or no words that is like crazy. I can't, I can't. This box was just like too much, okay? It was too much. <gasps> what? Okay. <sighs> Thank you for watching, bye!